Like it's good and it's fresh. Is it worth a half hour wait and that rudeness? No. If you're new around here, we're Jordan and Emily, and we're on a mission to see as much of the world as possible before we run out of money. For the last month, we've been exploring Italy from top to bottom. We've drunk amazing wine, eaten delicious food, and even went to the oldest city in Europe. Today is our final day in Italy, so we wanted to make the most of it. Good morning from Bari, Italy. This is the capital of the Puglia region and also a pretty prominent destination for cruisers that go around the Mediterranean. So it's really busy. That being said, we have absolutely no plans today and we're just gonna take the city as it comes. Cornetto from this cafe we walked past yesterday that just smelt so good. It, like Disney wafted us in. <laughs> wow. My mouth's watering. <laughs> really went for a treat for our last morning in Italy and we have a cappuccino and a massive brownie to share. Maybe you should go get your own. It's not like a brownie, it's like a chocolate cake slice, but like a bit more dense. Literally yesterday, walking past this place, we were on the other side of the building and we walked all the way around just to see what was baking because it smelled so good. Just went in there, they have cookies like this big with so many chocolate chips. I think we made a really good choice for the first thing to do in Bari. Get a coffee, probably look at our phone and make sure there's nothing that we're gonna miss while we're here and then get exploring. Delicious. We did some Googling while we enjoyed our little brownie breakfast. Turns out the castle that you can go into isn't that far from here, so I think that's going to be our first stop. So entering to the castle is nine euro per person and to put that into perspective, we are renting a car for a little bit cheaper than that per day in our next country. So we won't be going in. What we've seen online as well, it looks like the best part's actually the outside, so. I didn't know it was nine euro per person. That's insane. It's really cool though. It's yet another Roman city that has like this major historical thing just in the center of town. It weirds me out no matter how many times we see it. surrounded by a moat on all sides except the northern section, which was bordering the sea. How did the sea move that much? Ooh. This Francis guy was a bit of a creep. The emperor had a courtesan sent to Francis's room and watched through a peephole to see what would happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a bit creepy. I think we're gonna go for a walk through the old town to try and find St. Nicola Basilica or something like that, St. Nicholas? Father Christmas is Basilica. Christmas! It's so busy, so many tour groups and people. Many 
two of groups. old city it's like massive three-story buildings surrounding you and then it's kind of part old city part market like there's heaps of people selling fruit vegetables dried chilies or a chetti but we've come to the basilica of the guy who father christmas was based off of is that right yeah and it looks like there's a wedding nice. don't think we're gonna get in Unfortunately, well not unfortunately, lovely that there's a wedding here today but it means we can't really go in so we just get to enjoy the outside. We did get to go in there's definitely a wedding happening later but they're still letting people go in and wander around to experience it which was cool super unique basilica and a really nice place to have a wedding the ceilings are just like massively five stories tall the gold roof with all the paintings on top and then getting to go down to the crypt we've never experienced something like that before i don't think so that was super unique now i think we're gonna go try and walk along the sea maybe I don't know. I don't know what it, what's left. <laughs> Might swing past later, see if the wedding's going on. Try and get up there and officiate. I didn't have watch an Italian bride walk down the aisle on my bingo card for today, but I guess that's what happens when you don't have any plans. It was so cold. Just as we were about to leave, it kicked off. They didn't let me officiate. <laughs> Weird. And we know this is obviously a port city, a pretty prominent one for people on cruises. So we're going to go and try and find, like, I guess the wharf or the seaside. to the seaside. It smells like the seaside. Made to the seaside but not like the bit where the cruise ships dock which has to be somewhere because this is like a massive port city. And there's so many people in town today. Yeah I think we've seen enough people we don't really need to go to the cruise port. <laughs> I am getting a little bit hungry though so we're gonna grab some food. There's like a massive square behind us and I think there's a focaccia bakery around here that I really want to try because yesterday when we googled we went to the oldest one but then we passed this one and it was jam-packed like so many locals so surely it's better. That's the line for the bakery. <laughs> I'm waiting for 20 minutes already. <laughs> Half an hour later, we're in the shop. There's no way this is good enough to make up for that way. I'm just a carpet, please. Oh? Yeah. I 
Yeah. Three euro for all of that's not bad, but mamma mia, half an hour away. Like it's good and it's fresh. Is it worth a half hour wait and that rudeness? No. So the line, it's like there's a line for tourists and there's a line for locals. But if there's a local, they won't serve tourists until the local line is done. Which, like, I don't get it. So we had to wait about 40 minutes to get in there. Locals would turn up and go straight in and come straight out. Which is, I get, like, I understand that, but you'd think it would be like one for one, not 100% on the local side. And then if there's anyone spare, I guess we'll serve the tourists. I'd say if you're a tourist here, Go to the one we went to yesterday. What's that one called? Uh, Fior Bakery. Yeah, just go to Fior Bakery. It's just as good and you don't have to wait at all. Crazy. Let's go get you a panzer roti. So I had to get another panzer roti. Last time we had this was in Toronto and it was incredible. These ones definitely don't look as good. But I wanted to try it anyway. It was like reheated not a great experience inside either but see how it tastes i only got dough on that bite and the dough is not as good if this was the first one i had i probably wouldn't get another one go to the really good highly recommended places when you're getting the panzerotti because yeah, if I had this first, I would have been turned off something that made top three all-time best foods. <sighs> Even though it's lunchtime, we are going to end the video here because we've got a really early morning tomorrow for our next flight in our next country, which we are very excited for, Bulgaria. Oh.